Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. So, let's continue where we left off and I think we'll just go back east. Because all four of these towns will have contracts. We'll just stay in that general area. But first, let's buy some ammunition. Should be fairly cheap in here. Let's see, 89. Yes, that's a pretty good deal. Let's buy some. Alright. And we can move on. Can we hire anyone decent? Yeah, not in here. These guys are way too expensive. Alright, let's just go back east. And we'll pick up some contracts there. We still got 24 tools and supplies. That should be enough for a while. And 63 food. Hopefully we'll get more than 300, 400 crowns this time. Let's find out. Oh, that's a free skull contract. Okay, that's a lot of gold. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to handle this. I suppose we can give it a shot. But... I'm pretty sure the enemies here will be too hard for us. How bad is it? Well... Might be doable, but ancient legionaries are nasty. I don't think we can handle them. Not with our current gear and experience. Let's see how many there are. Nine enemies total. How many legionaries? Three? Might be doable, but it would be a very tough fight. I'm still not really convinced that we can do this reliably. Yeah. I mean, we can give it a shot, but I'm pretty sure I'll have to withdraw. Before someone gets killed. I guess we should move one tile forward. Because of the tree. We could actually... Move like so. We got six dots in the front. Yeah, not ideal. Okay, one tile forward. Something like this. But I can already tell you this is going to be rough. There's about 80% chance that we'll have to retreat. It's mostly because of the legionaries. These are higher tier enemies. I would say they are tougher than the raiders. So... Let's take a shot, shall we? 36%. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. We need to be careful to not let them flank us. Which might be a little bit hard because they got way more melee dudes than we do. Well, I guess we'll find out. But it might be tough to avoid that. Shield wall. And a spear wall. We can move forward one tile here though. Like so. 62%. That's pretty good. So, Erhard, should we flank the legionary or send him to the other side? I'm thinking we should send him to the other side, actually. So, yeah, let's do that. He will be needed over there. I can already see that. So, just skip the turn. Yep. 
Godheart is already taking quite a lot of damage. That's a legionary over there. We'll have to push him back. Okay then. I was hoping for a kill, but nope. Yeah, there's no way we can do this fight. There are too many. It's not going to happen. I'll just have to withdraw. The legionaries will just kill us if we stay here. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, we should just leave. Off we go. It's better to retreat than to lose half your company, you know? But it's fine. We'll just pick up a different contract. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. How did we get the money? We didn't do anything. We retreated from the fight. What? That has to be a bug. No idea what's going on with that. Okay. I mean, I don't mind, but that's very, very strange. Let's go pick up some other contracts then. This is the most gold I had in this particular game so far. We only need 500 more to fulfill our ambition. But we also need gear and more brothers. We need some brothers with good backgrounds and they are more expensive to hire. So is this any better? 300? 330. All right, let's go for that one. And can we hire anyone decent? Fisherman, caravan hand. Caravan hands have bonus to maximum fatigue, if I remember right. So this guy might be worth it. But 455? I think I'll save my money for now. Can we buy some decent armor? Because we need that badly. Not in this town, no. We should go to some town with an armorer. But first, let's do the contract, shall we? This way. We'll probably have to fight some thieves. And or raiders. Yep, there they are. Get over here. Yes, you. Come here. Oh yeah, we are also out of medical supplies. Which is not great. In fact, that's kind of bad. How badly wounded are we? We should be fine for this one single fight, but we'll have to buy some once we're done with this. Many brigand thugs. This should be pretty easy, not a single raider. Famous last words. Oh, there's some high ground around us. Okay. I guess we should move forward a little bit then. But they also have high initiative. Let's see how much they are going to move. Yeah, we can move forward one tile. That should be fine. Or maybe we should be a little bit more aggressive. I'm actually thinking we should be more aggressive. Especially with our guys who have decent stats. Like Godhard. He has pretty good stats. So let's go for it. What's our chance to stun this guy? 62% chance to hit him and then 75% chance to stun him. Let's try that. Nope. Alright. You tried. Can't attack from over here, unfortunately. So move over to higher ground. Alright, not bad. 
If we kill a few of them quickly, the rest might just run away. That's what I'm hoping for. Just need to be careful with our positioning. This is going to be slightly awkward. Okay, nice. Like this, and spear wall. And what about two hunters? We can't use Casimir on this turn, unfortunately. Nope. Alright, what about Torleaf? He's blocked. We can move to slightly higher ground now. Oh, we can't move over here. Apparently. Okay. I don't want to move too close. I, I guess that's basically it, as far as our turn goes. So let's move in slightly more aggressively and use shield wall. Now we can take a shot. 20% is pretty low, but... Might as well give it a try. Fifty-eight percent chance to hit. There's a good chance this attack will just kill him. Yep, it will. That's one of our highest damage weapons over here. If not the highest damage weapon, actually. It can do 60 to 80 damage. That's a lot. And it has bonus chance to hit. Going well so far. I'm still trying to be careful, even though this should be an easy fight, at least on paper. But you never know. Looking good so far. We can take a shot safely. And miss. There we go, another one down. How's their morale? Already breaking. They should run away pretty soon. There, let's use shield wall to be safe. There, another one down and they are already running away. Nice. Let's see if we can kill at least one more. Might be a bottle. We can run them down. It's not like they can do a whole lot. There, another one down. This is the toughest terrain I had to fight in so far. Run them down. We might get some extra gear. Which we could certainly use. Come on, I need someone in range. There we go, we are done. Nice. And we got some level ups. How's the load? We got a few weapons that we can sell. We got a dagger. Daggers are nice because they do not decrease maximum fatigue, so we can use them as backup weapons, which is the long-term plan. Right, so now we need some medical supplies. <laughs> Badly. Let's just go back to Camp Wader. And we'll buy some medical supplies. Unless they are very expensive, then I'll just find a different town to buy them in. We also need tools and supplies. Prison. And by prison I mean literally right now. But hey, we are doing quite well so far. 330 crowns. So let's check the prices, shall we? They are going to be bad because the town was raided. Alright, let's check a different one then. It's night time anyway. How's this one? Ambushed trade routes. Yeah, it's probably going to be bad in here too. 270 for medical supplies, 400 for tools and supplies. Yep, that's just terrible. Maybe we should sell a few things. Yeah, the damaged militia spear. We'll just sell that. And... 39% pickaxe. 
Pickaxe is pretty nice against armored enemies. So I think I'll keep that one. It's just that the damage range is not amazing. But it does 150% against armor. We can sell the net, I suppose. Although it does have its uses, especially later on. Sell the bucklers, we won't be using those. Alright, let's find some better prices, shall we? Maybe check the contracts. 520 crowns for a one skull contract, that's a pretty good deal. We'll have to fight some brigands, okay. Southwest, hold on. Southwest means it's going to be somewhere over here, potentially. That could be really far away. Not sure about that. Right, let's go buy some medical supplies first, because we need those badly. But I don't want to overpay. 215, yeah, that's decent. Maybe we should buy two stacks. Let's buy two stacks. And we still have to find tools and supplies. Which won't cost us an arm and a leg. Maybe Duncan Tal. Let's have a look. It's raided. So probably not. 217, yeah, that's a good price. Let's just buy two stacks. Because it can be pretty hard to find cheap tools and supplies. And we'll sell a few weapons, I guess. Pitchfork. We have a lot of spears. Sell one. And the short sword. Okay, how's that? Almost 1000. Seems fine. Oh yeah, also, we need some food. Probably ground grains. That's the cheapest option. Okay, let's check the contracts, shall we? 560 crowns. Okay, that's a pretty good deal right there. Defend the town. Sure, we can do that. No problem. But we might want to heal up a little bit. Yeah. Also, let's pick up the level ups. So, what are we going for? Let's have a look. Probably some fatigue. Plus three melee skill. Plus two melee defense. And... Either fatigue or health. Let's grab a little bit of health. And a perk. Dodge. Next, Torleaf. 46 ranged skill. 49 now. Still pretty bad. Okay. And ranged defense. Which perk do we want? Something that will actually help him? Not sure about that. Nothing super useful. Quick hands can be a really nice one, but it's more of an advanced strategy that you need gear for. Once I get more gear to use as backup, I will use quick hands. But not on this guy. What would actually be useful here? Not a lot, honestly. Pathfinder is okay-ish, I suppose. Alright, let's grab a Pathfinder. Done. Anyone else? Nope, that's it. So let's make camp for a little bit. Because, you know, we need to heal these injuries. Okay, they are coming. Well, this should be interesting. No more camping, sorry guys. Where are they? 
Oh, there they are. Only five. Probably some raiders. One brigand thug and four raiders. Shouldn't be too bad. Even though we are slightly wounded still. But I think we can deal with these guys. I'm pretty sure we can. They are going for the flank. Interesting. I don't like that too much. Sneaky bastards. So, I think we should move in aggressively, actually. Yeah, I think so. Right, yeah, let's move in aggressively and try to stun this dude. Nope. You tried. And... They can't pass the brush or the grassland. Right? They can't pass this tile. No, they can pass this one, but not the brush. Which means we can use that to our advantage. We will get to move all our frontline dudes. So, spear wall. This guy has an injury. How bad is it? Minus 40% hit points, right. So let's keep him adjacent to the brush. So he will never have more than one guy able to attack him. Okay, not bad. Good stuff. Maybe we should move into their melee range. It's not a bad idea, actually. Erhard. And can we take a shot? We can. Nice. Alright, Vander. We should probably go to the other side. Yeah, I think so. Although, Gustav might need a little bit of help. He could certainly use some. Okay, let's go help Gustav a little bit. And we can still attack the raider with the pike. I was quietly hoping that will hit him. Maybe next time. So... Let's see. Yeah, I knew this is going to happen, that's fine. We need to kill one of these. Quickly. We'll need a little bit of luck in order for that to happen. Okay, Gustav is in trouble. There, that was a nice hit. Right, Gustav might need some help over here. We can try to knock back the Brigand Thug and then move away. There we go, and let's just move away slightly. Now, we need to get a kill on this turn. Like, seriously. There we go. One down. And some of them are already breaking. I think we got this. I hope. I'm pretty sure we do. Let's just be careful about the flank. Because these guys are making me slightly nervous. How's the stun? Let's try the stun. There, it actually worked. Nice. Hey, we could try it again. I mean, why not? It actually worked! We stunned both of them. Very nice. I did not expect both stuns to land. <laughs> but it's nice to see the RNG is sometimes on your side. I like when that happens. Can we take a shot safely? Yes, we can. And miss terribly. So, where can you go? Like this. I was hoping to get a kill. So which guy do we want to focus on? Doesn't really matter all that much. Probably on the one without headgear. Nice. They are still trying. I'll give them credit for that. Seriously, you missed both. Come on. 
kill them before they get a chance to attack us. Nope. Damn it. So close. And they are not running away yet. Okay. We can't get a shot on this turn. We pretty much got this. Good fight. Come on, kill them. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that to Son <laughs> that we got this. Really? You missed? Come on now. What the heck? They are not running away yet. But I thought we'll kill at least one of these guys <laughs> before our turn is done. Okay, we are missing terribly now. It's just awful. Come on, people. I'm sure you want to finish this, don't you? And go get paid. That was almost a kill, but not quite. There. Another one down. Only two guys left. And I'd like to kill them. We won't let them run away. We want their gear. Should be pretty easy. Just one guy left now. And he's almost dead. There we go, very nice fight. And we got some level ups. Four level ups. How's the loot? Ooh, we got a hooked blade. Nice, that's a pole arm with a range of two tiles. 40 to 70 damage. 110% effective against armor and plus 5% chance to hit the head. And we got proper armor. It will require some repairs, but we don't need more armor badly. That was a very nice haul. And back to Donkental. So, how much money is that now? 1500, alright. Let's check the promotions. Or level ups. Earn. Plus 4 ranged skill. Some range of defense, and maybe a little bit of fatigue. And which perk will he get? Pathfinder, maybe? Yeah, I think we should grab Pathfinder. Next, Adelbert. Level 2. Okay, these are pretty bad choices. We can only get plus 1 to his melee skill. I think I'll still grab that. Or we can grab plus 3 to melee defense. Some resolve. And anything else? I suppose range of defense is still useful for him, but not super useful. Just get some hit points. And a perk. Crippling strikes. Yep, sounds good. Next, Niels, level 4. Melee well, defense, fatigue, and some resolve. And a perk, let's grab dodge, I quite like dodge. Casimir the Drunk. He's probably our worst brother. No offense, but he really is. Plus 4 resolve, some melee skill, and a little bit of fatigue. And perks, dodge. I think I'll skip students on him. Alright, let's grab dodge. And Sorel. Oh yeah, that's the guy with the pike. Plus 3 melee skill. And what else? A little bit of health, and some fatigue. And what about the perk? What should we get here? Which ones of these would actually be good for a guy with a melee weapon with total range? Brony is quite nice. I guess we could grab that. What's the fatigue cost of this? 
15 fatigue, not that much. Repel, 30 fatigue. That's a bit more expensive. I'll have to think about this one. Brawny is pretty much crucial for anyone in the front line, but I don't think it's as important for a guy with a 200. I'll have to think about this. Executioner might be nice, especially since we have crippling strikes, unlike most of our brothers. That's additional 20% damage against targets that have sustained any injury effects, like a broken arm. So that's quite nice, especially with a weapon that's already high damage. I'm strongly leaning towards that, but I'll decide in the next episode. So this one is done, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.